Hello children, again this is Sir Romel. So today we are going to continue the lesson about addition of the similar fractions. Now let's have the past example. Okay, based from the given answer 20 over 24, to get the lowest term of this, we have to get the GCF. Now, what are the factors of 20 and 24? Let's start with 20. So, when you multiply 4 times 5, that's equivalent to 20. Then, another is 10 times 2, that is also equivalent to 20. And also, 1 times 20. So, these are all the factors of 20, 4, 5, 10, 2, and 1. How about 24? What are the factors of 24? So we have 1 times 24, of course, and 6 times 4, and that is also equivalent to 24. And then we have yes, 12 times 2, that is also equals to 24. So now, let's look at the factors. So what are the greatest common factor that you can find in number 20 and 24? So as you can see, we have 4 and also number 4 in number 24. So our GCF is 4. So what are you going to do with the GCF? So you're going to divide it. So. Our GCF is 4. So now, we can now divide 20 divided by 4 is equals to 5. Okay. 24 divided by 4 is 6. So, 5 over 6. That is the lowest term of the given answer, which is 20 over 24. So, 5, 6 is our final answer. Okay. Now, let's have another method. This method is called prime factorization. 
Now, what are we going to do with prime factorization? So, let's say again, next, uh, our example is 20 over 24. Yes. So, we are going to get the prime factors of 20 and 24. So, let's say what are the prime factors of 20? So, we have 5 times 4. So, first we get the factor 6 times 4. Now, here, 5 is already a prime number. So, 4 is not a prime number. So, we can still get the prime factors of this, which is 2 times 2. Oh, and the number 4 below is also not a prime number. So, we can also get the prime factors of this as 2 times 2. And also 6, which is 3 times 2. Now, what are the prime factors of 20? So, that is 5 times prime factors of 4 is 2 times 2. And then, the prime factors of 24, we have 3 times 2. And then, the prime factors of, two, of 4, which is 2 times 2. Then after that, tingnan natin kung alin yung may kapares na factors. So, we found that we have 2. So, number 2. Cancel natin yung dalawang 2. Dapat may pares sa taas. Okay. So, lagay lang natin ng guhit. O baba. Cancel natin yung 2 and the other two yes okay so wala na yung dalawang two kasi pares yun so anong natira sa ibabaw so that is 5 and sa ilalim 3 and 2 okay so that is 5 over 6. So that is also our final answer. That is how to get the answer using prime factorization. Okay, which one is better? What do you think? Okay, now this example, which is 20 over 24, also. Now, if you already know the GCF of this fraction, so all you have to do is cancel number 20 and then put number 4 on top. And then also below. And then just divide. 20 divided by 4 is equals to 5. And then 24 divided by 4 will give you 6. So that will be your, your final answer which is the lowest term of 20 over 24. That is if you already know the GCF.